What is going on guys? Politics Gaming here and today I am doing the first episode of the People's Republic of China. The People's Republic of China is a communist country in a East Asia, um, one of the biggest countries in the world, one of the um, most influential countries in the world. It is a very um, highly contested spot in the world for what China is doing, both politically militarily and economically we in this series are going to compete against the united states we are going to um try to get above their gdp um by the year 2022 um if at a later year 2025 um at the same time we are going to be building up our military strength we are going to modernize our military we are going to invest a lot of money in the space um, and domestic research. <clears throat> so with that, we are also going to build um, relationships with other nations. We are going to spread our sphere of influence. We are going to branch out into the Middle East. Iran is going to be a very big target for us. We are going to make a formal alliance with the Russian Federation. We are going to build a relationship with the Russian Federation. We are going to make the alliance that will definitely compete against the United States. Um, we are also going to be competing against um, NATO and the, the European Union. We are going to definitely try to build past um, the current uh, geopolitical situation, and we're definitely going to... Um, branch out and become the number one superpower in the world. We're definitely going to reach to become a superpower. Um, the People's Republic of China is a communist country um, in Asia that actually um, has, in the past uh, about maybe 20, 30 years, it's actually become a very influential country. Um, and with stuff like Tiananmen Square and um, protests in the People's Republic, um, it has actually solidified their position and their influence. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and continue to play this, and we are going to see where the People's Republic of China will take us. There's not going to be a goal. <clears throat> There's not going to be a goal of uh, basically trying to become free, as I did with Iran. Um, Iran was a failure because, for one, I didn't reach out to um enough people and i think i uh expanded and became um too free too fast and people immediately wanted me out so it's not something i'm gonna go to it's not i'm not gonna um create more f a more free parliament not at this time as at least um so it's just uh, something that I'm not really going to go after. However, what I am going to go after, see, um, I mean, I could vote laws, but no motions of no confidence. However, um, Parliament is under the control of the single party, and we are going to, we are going to keep it that way. Um, however, I will actually reform a couple of... Um, things um as maybe i could go for uh, appointed by a single party or i could go for appointed for life um i could go for appointed for life um since actually xi jinping president xi jinping um is actually on par with mao zedong and mao zedong actually basically um was is actually um well, Mao Zedong was actually the founder, but the Communist Party has actually, give, has actually implemented Xi Jinping into the constitution of China. So Xi Jinping is actually literally a second Mao Zedong. <clears throat> so without further ado, again, I'm going to go ahead and um, start all of this. So what we are going to um, do at first, we're actually going to increase a couple of taxes. I think I'm going to raise our value added tax to 20% and then raise the um, 
Actually, I think I can keep the income tax where it is. What I really want to reach for is a 1% deficit um, where I'm not getting issued a lot of debt. However, at the same time, I don't want to build up debt at the same time. Um, this is not going to be as easy as maybe the United States, because with the United States, all I could really do is uh, implement a value added tax and pulls me out of the deficit right away. However, China already has a value added tax and they make $2.3 trillion. However, they spend $2.9 trillion. So it's going to be very difficult to try to pull myself out of the situation. However, we do not need parliamentary votes. So I can actually just create a reform passes anyway. However, I do have to deal with the disapproval. So I have to compensate for that. So I'm probably going to increase spending maybe on healthcare, maybe on something, or I can just implement a tax that people actually like. However, I am increasing the value added tax by 3%. So that is going to be something that's going to be very unpopular. So I'm going to call this the people's reform. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. And we're going to create that. That's going to, um, once that is actually implemented, it will uh, create $163.5 billion to our revenue. However, our deficit has actually gone down by a complete percent. Um, what I can do, I can actually put this to 4%. Um, I can actually reduce. I'm going to reduce this actually to exactly 20%. We're going to add that to the people's reform. Company tax. I am actually going to reach to get that to at least 20% at a maximum. I'm going to put it to 15% because lowering the company tax actually allows for you to have a very strong economy. And um, getting the company tax down um, from where it starts off at, it's actually very, very good. Company turnover, I can actually increase that to, I'm going to go ahead and put it to 1.8. Um, since we do not have to, again, we don't have to, uh, pass that through parliament. Um, tax on petroleum products, I can leave that alone for now. Um... I'm going to put this to 38% for the tax on the pornography industry. Okay, so this is going to pass on 125. Tax on financial transactions, I'm not going to institute that yet. However, I can actually put a 3%. I'll actually to a 2 and a quarter percent. Um, tax on industrial pollution, since uh, we actually, as China, we do produce the most pollution. So um, I actually want to reduce that. So I'm going to add that to the reform. Um, audiovisual tax, I could actually reach to do that. I could have maybe a $50 audiovisual audio tax. This license is paid by television viewers, is often meant to pu fund public radio and television channels. An example of this is actually the BBC in the United Kingdom. Um, tax on salt and animal fats in the agri-food sector. Its purpose is to limit the consumption of foods that are judged to be unhealthy by increasing the value added tax on products that are likely to encourage cardiovascular disease and obesity. So this is actually similar to the value added tax. However, it is an additional value added tax. So it would be like 20% plus another 1% because it's a cardiovascular, um, threat. So I could actually increase that soon. Um, tourist tax on entering the country. This income is generated to suck theoretically aimed at encouraging the development of the country's tourism industry. Pet tax. Um, well, we can actually make a couple billion dollars off of the pet tax. Uh, vehicle registration tax. I don't want to hurt the purchasing power that much. Uh, regular and repressive. Frequent and very repressive. I can actually do that to keep the inflation down. However, I will keep it to regular and repressive to as an emergency um, measure.
Uh, attacks on war veterans. Making a couple hundred billion dollars, I could probably be able to pay for this, but um, I'm going to focus on getting that deficit down. Let me remind you, in case you're not aware, that our assessment is protected by the deficit and your debt. All right, so let's check the financial situation in the People's Republic. Let's go to budget. So we're spending $914 billion on Social Security. We're spending $687 billion on education, and we're spending $284 billion on defense. Then $129 on Social Security. 127 on research, 124 on health, 122 on industry, and 105 on our economy. Um, so we are spending 3.8 on energy, 12 on foreign affairs, 14 on unemployment insurance, and 28 on transport. However, the good thing right here is that debt reimbursement is actually way, way down here. It's with housing and transport. So that's very, very good that we are not paying a lot of interest on our debt. Um, as speaking of debt, we're going to go ahead and see our debt situation. We owe $2.4 trillion to ourselves. Um, the next loan seems to be $9.07 billion. However, our next quarterly loan is actually projected to be $95 billion. That is not something we want to do. I want to get that loan down to maybe $50 billion, maybe $25 billion. I really don't want to be incurring $100 billion every quarter because that's going to be very unhealthy for my economy. And I am not wanting to borrow that much every single quarter. Let's go ahead and check our credit agencies. Credit agency, we have one single A ratings with all of them except for the key gong. Rating agency, we got um, a one star. That's one star significance. However, it is our own, so that's why they gave us a triple A. However, quiche ratings is giving us an A. However, their significance is a three star. And then harshness and grumpies, both the American uh, credit agencies are both five star significance. However, they are only giving us a one one star, a one a single A uh, credit rating. So, let's see who else we owe money to. We owe exactly $424 billion and $4 billion, $200 million to United States, Japan, United Kingdom, and $3 billion to India, and $3.6 billion to Finland. Uh, $3.21 billion is being owed to France. However, we have extraordinarily high... Um, interest rates with our creditors um so it's actually uh really really weird um we can negotiate with the united states i can probably try to see if i can get that down maybe 17 exactly uh japan all these countries hate us I could probably go to the india because um Maybe I can look at that in a couple of, a couple of days. Ooh, we are definitely being hurt on that. Uh, so in response, let's go ahead and hire a couple hundred thousand uh, doctors. Let's also increase funding to psychiatric departments and let's give full funding to these. I really want to get those um whoa 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 what's what's so expensive? All right, I think uh 10 billion dollars would be a good addition to our health and social security. All right, let's go to the next day see we have a city reaction to that. Put us back up to 60%. Faithful friend more importance on the opinion of your people. Be able to put all the hope in you. Just trust in you. Don't let them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, scandal is swindling. It's unfortunate. 
Um, he loves rock, he loves football and soccer, he loves consumption of marijuana, however he does not like human rights, he does like the public sector. Get moving. Alright, so let's check our GDP per capita. Well, our birth rate is really, really low, however, we do have 1.3 billion people, so... Uh, India is actually projected to take over my population by, um, 2025, so that is actually, um, interesting. I've actually seen it happen. Um, I have actually edited the file for this, so associations, I actually, um, edited the, the edited the, uh, homosexual community, so that is our flag. However, I did not mess with anything else because, um, I did not see a lot of, uh, um, things for China. Dependent from the state, I'm going to leave it like that. Um, religions. Everyone's atheist, and we also have a large uh, Buddhist community. Forbid a community. 250 million people, 70 million Catholics, and 28 million Muslims. Um, however, most, most of the Muslims are actually um, in this area right here. Um, this is actually a really, really uh, separatist um, Turkic uh, community. Um, I actually edited the flag, so that is our flag now. I actually put the actual Xinjiang um, Uyghur Free Front flag. I also, I'm also going to go over here because I actually have to do this anyway. Um, Chinese Brigade of Islam, I actually put the ISIS flag. Chinese Mafia I didn't change anything, however, with the Chinese Republican movement, I actually did this as a freedom movement and put the flag of Taiwan. Um, in the Tibet Autonomous League, I actually put the uh, flag of Tibet. In the Xinjiang Uyghur Free Front, I actually put this as um, the actual flag of uh, Xinjiang. So we're going to go to the file. You can actually study, surveil 30 people, so that's actually really good. Uh, Chinese Republican movement. We're going to go over here. We're going to put him under surveillance. And Tibet Autonomous League. We're going to go ahead and put Rao Feng under surveillance. And Xinjiang. We're going to already put them under surveillance. So is that it? Brigades of Islam. Let's go ahead and put all of our Brigades of Islam under surveillance. And then we'll check back in a couple of days. Deficit is at 2.4%. That is very good. Um. So, I think we are on January 6th. Add to this. Our team. Okay, and then, so let's go here. And then let's go ahead and check all through them again. And let's go ahead. And then I'll check back in maybe like two weeks. And I will um, put... Everyone else under surveillance because I know it's going to be changing up. It always changes up. And then once it actually kind of. Once it actually changes up, um, it usually stops um, changing around until there's a terrorist attack or until you. Um, until you uh, actually like. Do something. So I'm going to put agent training and fight against terrorism all the way up to, you know, I'm going to put them to half stars. It's going to cost us $4 billion. However, cryptography and cybersecurity, I'm going to put that to half star, and then that's going to cost us $11 billion. But we can't afford it. Um, so I can reduce spending to something. Um... We're actually going to be launching a lot of cyber attacks against the United States. Um, and we're also going to be launching a lot of cyber attacks against uh, Myanmar, um, Taiwan, and... Who else can we launch cyber attacks against? We can launch cyber attacks against Europe. Uh, Rock, Jihadist Caliphate. Apparently it was a rock. It's very, very easy to um, kill off the rest of the people you get because you actually have drones. It's actually difficult to have with Afghanistan playing as the United States is that you can't really do anything. Um, we're going to go ahead and have a couple 
of uh, foreign dignitaries. We're going to go ahead and create a military alliance with uh, Vietnam. So add to the file of terrorist subjects. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the 15th agreement negotiation. All right, we have a formal military alliance with the Republic of Vietnam. Deficit requires attention. Waste money and you'll lose power in the equation is as simple as that, Mr. President. Let's go ahead and check our deficit. Two and a half percent is actually way lower than earlier. However, we can start making some trade contracts. So, what am I going to do? Uh, China's a model country for the World Bank. Um, strange political inclinations. However, he is not against us, so that is good. Okay, so... Uh, Laos? Laos is actually, um, a um, good military target that we could actually have, so let's go ahead and create a military alliance with them. Let's go ahead and put that down, and let's go ahead and wait for the response for that. Zhang Ning? Zhang Ning? Okay, let's see. All right, Laos is accepted. We are now former allies with with uh, the Republic of Vietnam, or the People's Republic of Vietnam, and uh, the People's Republic of Laos. However, I do not think those are their actual names. However, they are listed as People's Republics. That is their government. <laughs> All right, so um, let's go ahead and start making some formal trade contracts with the United States. So I think this is all really what our first episode of China is going to be. is actually um, literally just uh, a lot of this, a lot of trade contracting and stuff like that. I think these trade contracts are actually going to be very um, beneficial to both parties. Um, building housing and roadway. So this is going to be the most lucrative Go ahead and put that 175 so they can negotiate it. And then, I mean, it's obviously going to be higher than, okay, 133. Let's go ahead and try to put that 140. That's going to get us a $350 billion contract. Um, I'm going to stick that up to 10 years. Unfortunately, I cannot actually call in for a formal meeting with um, the president of the United States because our countries hate each other and the game does not re recognize that. They do not recognize that countries such as the United States and the People's Republic of China do have meetings together just as uh, Trump and Xi Jinping actually did. So um, we're going to be just sending our foreign dignitaries to um, do some negotiating. Too many negotiations in the United States. So let's go ahead and pull that up with the United States again and try to see if we can get another contract with them. Let's go ahead and put building, housing, and roadway. Let's put that 182. Let's see what the United States wants to put that at now. And sent this proposition 125. Um. Three hundred and seventeen billion dollars. Um, so we actually got a better one last time. Uh, I'm gonna refuse that contract. However, I'm going to send another contract. Let's go ahead and try to see what else we can actually sell to the United States. Um. Let's go ahead and put that at 4,000, send that over, and then I bet they're going to be able to do it 
to a point we just suffer terrorism. Assassination of Hong Chao. No, no, it's not a suicide. God, man, that's a little... I'm not going to be getting very good profit margins off of that. I'm going to go ahead and put that at 3,000. Let's see if they can actually accept 3,000. Um, again, they're probably going to... Um, and if this doesn't work... Okay, I'm going to try to call him in for a meeting. But I highly doubt we're going to be able to get a meeting. Let's go ahead and put that for the 23rd. And see if it gets cancelled. Um, I'm also going to edit that. Um, Tian Gong. Oh, we actually got a meeting. Huh. Usually what happens is that usually whenever I try to schedule a meeting is that it usually says, okay, well, we understand that, but you obviously know the reason why you they don't want a meeting is because of your cultural and politi political differences. Make me come here, Shut up, Donald. I'm going to cyber attack the United States during their election period just to... All right, let's go ahead and we're also going to be importing some stuff from the United States. We're going to maybe import some stuff from the United States. Um... Or we can import stuff from India. However, I don't think we actually need to import anything. We're going to go ahead and try to get a building housing roadway con contract signed up. Let's go ahead and put that at 175. 134. 335.6 billion dollar contract. We're going to go ahead and agree to that. We're going to go ahead and name it the um, U.S. China Building Housing Roadway Agreement. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and just name that the um, BHR Agreement. All right, so let's go ahead and get a second contract with them. Let's see if we can go ahead and sell a little bit of beef. Actually, we don't have a lot of beefs, but we can actually import beef from the United States. Um, our sale price... Oh, we're going to have to look at a... Eh, let's see if we can try to get a contract. Purchase price, sale price... Ugh, well, God, we're not going to trade with the United States for beef. That would be $4 billion contract. Maybe we can grow our beef sector. I'll maybe subsidize it. Uh, biotechnology. Uh, wow, we have no production for biotechnology. All right, let's see what we got in cement. We can actually sell. Ooh. Let's see, let's see what we can get off of this. 163. 107. That's... Kind of good. Uh, one hundred and seven. Maybe I can try to push that out in one hundred and ten. So let's call this one the. Construction material. Dang, we could have actually added the building housing and roadway and uh, cement to that, and then I could have actually just named it construction materials. That would have been like a $400 billion, $400, $450 million billion dollar contract. Construction, cement, and we are going to put that, okay, we're going to go ahead and set, accept that. We're going to get $50.8 billion off of this, go ahead and set that contract. We're going to have to renew it before January 24th, 2023. So let's go ahead and okay that, and let's go ahead and go back to sale.
automobile. Um, 3.6 million units to the United States we can sell. Um, what else can we sell that's really, really lucrative? Plastics. Wow. 16.8 million tons of plastic. Let's go ahead and sell United States some plastic. Five and a five point six thousand. Um, yeah, you know that's like we're actually going to be making a lot of profit off of that. So let's go ahead and call this one the plastic agreement. I think in the next uh, agreement, I'm actually going to try to see if I can add it, add a clause to it. I actually want to try to do that. And let's go ahead and get this on a 10 year agreement. I wish, I wish it would actually, I need, I, need, I actually need to test that because I've never gotten, I've never seen it above, um, 10, 10 years. It's always just kind of like a cap even though you can go all the way up to like a hundred years. However, it only lets you go up to 10. All right, perfumes and cosmetics, we don't have any. Uh, rice, we can actually grow a rice industry. Uranium. Oh yeah, look, the United States sold all of, all of their uranium. Oh, I know we have a good... Oh, dang, we don't. Dang. All right, let's see what else we can get. Banana. One and a half billion dollars. Automobiles. Let's go ahead and get an automobile contract with the United States. Let's go ahead and put that at 36000 Send that over. We're going to get a hundred billion dollars off of that. So let's go ahead and call this the... Zemin. It's called the Zemin Agreement after um, former Chinese President um, Zhang Zemin. Gonna be selling four and four point three million units of our vehicles to the United States for twenty four thousand dollars each. Um, good profit margin. Uh, one hundred four billion dollar contract. So that is good. We're gonna go ahead and accept that. And I think we are done um, negotiating contracts with the United States. Let's see, aluminum, we can get another good contract off of that. Let's see. $3,400 per ton. While our sale price is $2,300, we're gonna get a more than a thousand dollar difference right there. We're going to be selling 3.9 million tons of aluminum to the United States. Funny enough, they actually put a tariff on that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and negotiate that and they're going to actually accept it. So let's call this one the aluminum star agreement. And we can go ahead and end that meeting. Very, very successful meeting with the United States. Hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars with the United States that we actually negotiated. We actually got 0.7 approval for that. Um, we actually got approval with the people's reform too. Nice. Straight face smiley. Uh, survey report disapproval among wealthy people. According to my sources, they're criticizing the increase in the wealth tax. Let's follow up on this issue. Decrease relating to this reform. Well done. You have just signed your first contract. A note from my department will allow a rapid expert appraisal on this contract. It is attached to the contract. All right, so what we are actually going to do, we're going to go ahead and for one, we're going to go to the next month. <clears throat> Watch out for growth. Slow internet speed. 
Oh, well. Public finances. Everyone's loving my pub our public finances. Greater funding. Yeah, once uh, once our profits really start to come in, um, we can actually um, increase spending to our military and education. But, look at that. President of China. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the first day of February. And now I'm going to go ahead and refuse that meeting with the president of Rwanda. Uh, so currency, we're going to go ahead and check on our currency. It has jumped from 2.12% to 2.28%. 2 2.14% um, to 2.27%. Um, I can increase my... Interest rate, 2.4.85. Our deficit is now 2.21%. Um, our expenditures are actually staying the same. They have actually gone up by $16 billion, mostly because of our spending. Um, however, our revenues have actually gone up by about $200 billion. So that, that is very good. So supposedly we actually owe the World Bank $21 billion. That is... a uh, Astonishing. So we're going to ask for a reduction of debt. We're going to go ahead and ask for a $5 billion. Oh, wow. Um, we're going to ask for a $5 billion reduction of debt. Um, since our... In light of recent events, we'll proceed to... Yeah, I never saw anything about that terrorist attack. Interest rate increase. Um, so let's go over here. Terrorists. That was a Chinese Republican movement that actually launched that attack. Um, I wonder if you can actually get them to like you. All right, Tibet Autonomous League. Wow. Uh, put all of these guys under surveillance, and what I am going to do... Oh, God. So many people in China. Oh, man, we're not going to be able to cover them all. No more surveillance teams available. Damn it. Could um, put more people in, 200,000 um, agents on the national territory. Let's go ahead and confirm that. Terrorist sub subject, uh, look at all of these guys. <clears throat> Launch a massive cyber attack. And, um,. Let's go ahead and check the national paper. And all right, it looks like we got the um, contracts in the here. So that's 104. We got $200 billion alone right here. Um, well, this is actually $198 billion. $198 billion plus 336. Let's actually pull up a calculator. Because I actually need to calculate all this. Um, so we got 104 billion plus 94.7 billion plus 336 plus 50.8. That is 585 billion dollars alone. However, I do believe that we actually signed a couple more contracts. Uh, the president is selling his apartment because he couldn't make ends meet. Wait, what? Salary reflects what I think of my job. I'm not here to get rich, but rather to serve this country. He actually had to sell his apartment? Wow. Thanks, Xi Jinping. 64. Power held power for 108 days. And we have 1,726 days until the next election. Um, so let's see what else is going on. Tight security around food. 
Uh, what is going on in the world? Parliament election in Cuba. Inhabitants of the border zones under threat of invasion from Ukraine demand more protection and deployment of additional military troops from the government. Maybe we can then start something with India, because I know India and China always kind of screw around with each other. Maybe we can deploy troops to Kashmir. Alright, so yeah, nearly $600 billion dollars. Um, signed over to the United States, which the United States, maybe their, maybe their trade balance will actually expand by about $585 billion. Um, however, we will be seeing healthy GDP growth, which it has already seen a good growth. We have now seen um, nearly $200 billion jump for that, um, for that. Um, our trade balance on... Automobile construction has actually jumped by $100 billion because of that trade contract. Um, we are going to actually increase subsidies to biotechnology. And we are going to deploy $200 million of assets to biotechnology. And we're also going to exonerate that. Um, so let's also look at building housing and roadway. Wow, very, very healthy, very, very healthy um, trade balance right there. $566 billion dollars. Um, last year, and now $901 billion this year. Sales have actually gone up, and profits kind of gone up. Uh, popularity has actually gotten us a little bit of popularity. That's kind of ironic. Alright, so let's go look at energy. See what our energy needs are. We actually have good energy production, and we are now over our national per, um, consumption. However, consumption is the only thing that actually increases while well, electric production does not increase unless you publicly fund uh, energy projects. Um, I think in the next episode, I can actually do a sign a trade deal with Iran or Saudi Arabia. I'm going to see who actually sells the cheapest oil. Okay, so world info production. Um, so Russia, okay, four hundred and seventy-five with Iran. Oh, that's purchase. Okay, so Russia, Iran has very very cheap oil. All right, we can probably go to Iran next time. Let's uh, look at our debt situation. Um, that is going to happen on um, April. Maybe we can skip to our first quarterly payoff or debt um, first quarter. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the first quarter. Tibet autonomously get threat attack imminent. So we're going to go Secret Service. File, let's go ahead and check. Uh, um, reinforces one door. I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the rest of you. It's a complete guess. Oh, he was released. Um, <laughs> Who is it? Reduction of debt is accepted. Five billion dollars. This relief will be spaced out across the remaining duration of your re of your reimbursement. However, all of these obviously subject to, the, the, to the condition that your development policy and democracy continues in China. Very very funny. Let's arrest you. See if you are the terrorist. Absolutely nothing against him. Changing the other half. So, assassination of Yung Song. Damn it. Could have stopped it. Cabinet, was he a ca Yes, he was a cabinet member. He was the, um, cultural minister. 
Let's go ahead and put you. And let's go ahead and go to, to the weekly newspaper. Um, unemployment dropped to 2.35%. Interest rate increase. So that is already... Uh, so what I am actually going to do... I'm actually going to abolish the National Service. That is something I really want to do because... Uh, the National Service is not needed, especially whenever you want to become a modern professional army. Um, making is known by the Secret Services. Yeah, I highly doubt China would actually send that to the press. Um, public finance has got us a 1% in approval. Farming. Trade balance is actually going down a little bit, but we're going to keep an eye on it. Um, I really, really do not want to... Gen... Genwei Tang. Genwei Tang... Genwei Tang. Haha, uh -huh. look at that. Proceeding to rest. Neutralization. All right, good, good, good. I think once we get a better um, budget deficit, I can actually start putting more money into um, these. Let's see what we have. So we have a mission to Mars, attempted assassination, of Genwei Li. Attack against just failed. It was orchestrated by the members, no longer in danger, and is already giving a statement to the journalists. Good, good, good. So, space probe to Mars. We actually have t the technology to do it ourselves. Um, however, we still have a 15% chance of failure, so I can actually... I'm going to go ahead and add one and a half billion dollars to the budget. Five-year funding is going to be $1.14 billion, while annual reimbursement is only going to go up by $227 million. So that is actually something I can afford. And I'm the only one a part of that, so I can actually just universally approve it. Prospective analysis. No, I'm not going to go after that. I'm actually going to go over here, and I'm going to reform my networks. I don't need Canada, France, Germany, India... Can leave them in Indonesia. I don't need Israel. I don't need Italy. Leave them in Japan. I don't need them in Poland. Um, I don't need them in Saudi Arabia. I could leave them in Saudi Arabia. South Korea can leave them in Spain. I don't need them. Taiwan, I definitely need them. United Kingdom, I don't need. And United States, I can leave them. So I'm going to go ahead and put these all at um, even numbers. 20, 20, 20. 20 and 20. And let's go ahead and put them on a couple missions. United States, I'm going to go ahead and do some um, meteor operation. Cyber attack preparation, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, cyber attack preparation in Taiwan. Cyber attack preparation in South Korea. Um, yeah, I don't need Saudi Arabia. However, cyber attack preparation in Japan. And... Approach political groups um, in the United States. I'm actually going to launch a cyber attack against the Democratic Party whenever they try to defeat Donald Trump. Um, because in our own interest, is actually very, very good to keep the... Uh, or we could actually let the Democrat in there. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, let's go ahead and do an energy project. How much would it cost if I wanted to dismantle 5000 12 billion dollars is how much it would cost. However, we do have a 14.2 million um, manpower pool. Um, let's go ahead and put 5,000 people to work on a nuclear power plant. We're going to go ahead and build this in southern China. We're going to put it in the Yunnan province near the border. Yeah. 
Um, we're actually going to build it down here. Let's build it next to these uh, Air Force bases. So not too too close to a city, but not too far from the city. Something realistic. Um, so we are going to go to March, and then I think that's where I'm going to call this episode. It can still be improved notably by developing partnerships with the neighboring countries in order to build international networks together. It's actually something I'm going to do. I'm actually going to ask North Korea and Russia if they actually want to build a train. Another way that I can actually build um, trains with Kazakhstan um, possibly India, and also Tajikistan. I can also, oh yeah, I can actually build something with, uh, Vietnam. Authorization, and let's go ahead and send that over. And let's go ahead and, and skip to where they accept it or deny it. Statement. Our service has frustrated an attack on a karaoke bar. Um, abolishing national service that is actually saving us almost fifty-five billion dollars. All right, Russia. Yes, if Russia has agreed to a potential partnership for a construction of a uh, railway, um, Vietnam has also agreed, and North Korea has also agreed. We're also going to send that over to Kazakhstan, um, just because we can. And let's go to transportation and get that so i definitely 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 want to build something to vladivostok um i can build it from changchung or i can build it from yangji all the way to vladivostok because there's already train train connection um or i can build it from harbin but, I mean, if we want, I mean, not, not a lot of people from Beijing are really wanting to do it. It would basically be kind of like a train connection for those in um, um, northeast China. So I could definitely, I could build it from here, Gigi, Vladivostok, or I'll do it from Yangji. Let's go to transportation. Let's go ahead and try to get a cost index for that. Possible to cross the country without stopping. Okay, so we have to go around the north border with North Korea, so I guess we can't go through... Um, national borders if it's only a two country network so i'm going to fund 90% of that huh okay so let me try that again maybe we can actually get so it can actually go through multiple countries that's actually really cool Possible to cross the country without stopping. I'll have to look at that again. Um, Harbin is actually a good place. Maybe we can build it from Harbin to um, Vladivostok. Let's go ahead and get that high speed train. Let's go ahead and build it right there. Son of a bitch. Kind of screwed that up. So, 85%. Annual reimbursement, $2.3 billion. Uh, I can sign that over next episode. 
Um, so guys, if you like this, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you are new here, please, please go to my Patreon and support me on Patreon because it helps me create videos like this and more. So guys, if you want me to expand, please go to my Patreon and support me. Once I get to five patrons, that is the, definitely where I'm going to really start revamping uh, my channel and I'm definitely going to start doing a lot more. So guys, please, please get me to five patrons. That is my goal for this year. Um, or this month, maybe. I don't know. Um, but guys, um, please go support me on Patreon. And also, um, liking this video is also, uh, very, very appreciated too. So guys, um, to, um, help fund, so guys, help, to help fund the, um, um, Harbin Vladivostok train track, um, please go to my Patreon and support me there. Otherwise, guys, if you like this, go ahead and like and subscribe if you are new to this channel. And um, I will see you guys in the next episode of the People's Republic of China.